My name is Chan Kim, registered nurse, studying at Brigham Young University, Idaho. Today, I'm going to talk about the ethnic differences in pain. In order to explain some background, my name is Chan Kim, registered nurse. I was born in Korea, raised in California, and I have also served my mission in Seoul, South Korea. I have many experiences with multicultural and different ethnicities. And I also have experienced ethnic differences in pain perception and how it affected healthcare providers. Understanding the differences in pain perception will minimize stereotypes and increase the quality of care. The objectives for this project is to find the definition of race, ethnicity, and culture to provide re relevance and evidence for the research. Two, determine top five to ten ethnicities for research population and find reasons for further research and survey. Three, create an evidence-based survey relevant for each um, population about pain perception and its management. Four, provide qualitative and quantitative results on PowerPoint presentation. Provide case studies on PowerPoint presentation. And create a voiceover presentation to post on YouTube, which I'm doing right now, and get at least 100 views before July 10th, 2016. So what is ethnicity? Um, race, first of all, is a distinguished by physical characteristics or biological disposition or ancestry. Ethnicity is a group of people who share a certain social background, distinguishing behaviors, cultures, history, belief, conventions and traditions, as well as physical characteristics. Cultural is behavioral or inherited ideas, beliefs, values, and knowledge. These three distinguishing factors influences the perception of pain and management of pain. So the, ethnic the definition, within the definition of ethnicity, you, we can find many variables. And what is pain? Pain is a perception triggered in the individual nervous system. It is subjective and very complex. There are many types of pain and treatments to different types of pain. Understanding the ethnic difference of pain will allow nurses to make better decisions taking care of patients from different ethnic groups. I've chosen 12 ethnicities in the United States. Um, the top 10 ethnicities in the United States, according to um, the study, is Caucasians, African Americans, Hispanics, Chinese, Indians, Central Asians, slash Filipinos, Vietnamese, Korean, and Japanese. These ethnic group living in the United States have different perception that are living in other countries. So top 10 ethnicities in the United States are selected to provide information for health care providers in the United States. However, for the purpose of this video, I've narrowed it down to four ethnicities, general ethnicities. Um, these are still top ethnicities in the United States, and they are non-Hispanic white, Caucasian, African American, Hispanic, and Asian. Um, as I talked about before, there are other possible variables to pain perceptions and differences. Since pain is very complex and there are many other variables that influences perception of pain, um, those are according to unethical studies, gender, age, culture, race, and educational level, and then three, 
and things in this enchantment. I created this very simple compounds um, class slash survey and I recruited a lot of people and but only only people were able to do it. And the compounds class asks the ethnicity and it's a simple test where you put a rubber band around your wrist and extend it as far as you can and let it go and rate the queen from the start from zero to ten and fortunately I was able to um, recruit recruit people from four from the top four different ethnicities I've chosen and there were six Caucasians, four African Americans, three Hispanics, and seven Asians. And I also included gender to see if the bar how much the variables, one of the variables will affect the survey. Um, the for the conclusion of the survey, I found out that most women of any ethnicity answered higher claim score than most men of any ethnicities. And claim scores were random and did not parallel with ethnicity. So um, it was the gender that actually affected the claim score more than um, more more than the race and the ethnicity itself. But um, this survey sample size was too small and I guess the more variables were uh, required for a better assessment. But fortunately, there are numerous studies that were already conducted in the United States to examine the ethnic differences of claim perception. And this is one example. And from my many studies, um, these are the four general conclusions I've come up with. So first, African American subjects reported reported higher levels of clinical pain as well as greater pain related disability than white participants. This is from a study. And Hispanic Americans and Asian Americans recent study suggests lower pain thresholds and tolerance level than Asian Americans when compared with non-Hispanic whites. So it's basically saying that um, non non Caucasian Americans are have um, have lower pain tolerance than to non-Hispanic whites. However, the culture also affects um, the perception or um, the management of pain. For example, Asian Americans, due to their culture, they consider um, complaining of pain at very disrespectful. So they're less likely to show pain or report pain or score pain less than it is actually perceived. And Hispanic immigrants, um, they are known to so they cannot adequately describe or manage pain due to cultural differences. And we're going to go over that a little bit more. There are a few important stereotypes healthcare providers need to remember. It is from the study that physicians are more likely to prescribe non-specific analgesic or lower opioid doses to non-Caucasians. So they which means that they they prescribe, um, they're not worried about prescribing higher doses of opioids to Caucasians, but they are worried about um, prescribing high doses of opioid to Caucasians, non non Caucasians. But um, as you know from the studies, this is not um, right because um, non Caucasians have lower pain. Pain perception is actually similar among ethnic groups, however, the difference is still remains. So it, it is important to assess individuals without stereotypes while considering their ethnic background. 
and we'll go over a case study and talk about it in the last 30 minutes. This is from a study, a case study from a research. Mrs. Thomas is a 65-year-old Mexican-American woman who has lived in the United States with her family for the past 30 years. She has traveled with troubled with disabling arthritis in her lower extremities, which interferes with her ability to perform household chores and care for her three active grandchildren. She comes to the doctor in tears, asking if there is some additional therapy she can use besides ibuprofen. Mrs. Thomas's daughter and two of the grandchildren accompany her to the appointment and also describe Mrs. Thomas's severe pain, explaining that she is often heard praying for relief and moaning with pain. Her daughter also notes that Mrs. Thomas has talked about seeing a culandero, a traditional healer, in their community. If the doctor cannot offer any additional therapy, Mrs. Thomas's doctor feels annoyed at what he perceives to be a threat of seeking care with an additional practitioner. Hearing the message, even someone with no real medical training would be better than you. He is concerned that Mrs. Thomas is exaggerating the severity of her pain complaints in order to obtain opioid pres um, prescriptions and recommends that she continue using ibuprofen. From this case study, um, I hope this doesn't happen very often, but this doctor was not aware of the cultural differences and he was actually offended by that. And he also had a lot of stereotypes. Um, but as we learn from nursing school, doctors or healthcare providers, nurses, we need to remember that pain is whatever the pain says pain is. And um, it is easily, like, it, we can get easily offended by the cultural differences. For, for example, um, my father-in-law is an acupuncturist and he actually is very against Western medicine, but um, but I've seen some of the nurses uh, nurses get very offended by um, by the offensiveness of um, by my father in law. But it is important to respect each other's culture while. Um, treating the pain and the other disabilities as much as you can. And Hispanics have, diffi Hispanics have difficulty describing their pain perception and management, so it is also important to um, reconsider the, their health literacy and um, think about other variables that might occur to them or uh, the pain. So my purpose and conclusion for this project is that I want to eliminate all stereotypes when assessing pain of all patients, whether it be um, Caucasians, Hispanics, African American, or Asians. Um, they are all different, but they do share um, similarities with um, uh, different different groups. I want to remember that. Um, thank you. And this is how the hours are spent creating this project. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave comments.